Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video and today we are testing Smart Summon again. So Smart Summon is a feature that will come and pick you up. So ideally you are standing at the front of your building like I have the target point set here and your car is way in the parking lot and now it's gonna drive to you. So if you haven't seen this yet, I have a whole playlist that I'll put up here. This test in particular is running the new software version 2020.4.1 and you can see it's making its way pretty smoothly through this parking lot even around multiple curves and cars. So we're coming up here and it is going a little slower than I would have liked but it's going around a lot of curves and cars. Now here we are getting to a roundabout which if you've followed my channel for a while you know that I've done some testing on this roundabout but I'm going to do a lot more testing in this video on this roundabout. So you can see here, it is going to a target point that is right in front of the doors. With this newer software update 2020.4.1, it's moving a lot more confidently. And you can see here, it stops right in the target point exactly where we want it. So we would be able to hop right into the vehicle. Huge shout out to Akrama Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. Let's test and see how smart Smart Summon is. So we're putting the target point right in front of the door over here where the arrow was, but, but take a look at the blue line on the app view. It's showing us that it knows which direction, it knows that it needs to go the long way around this roundabout in order to complete the Smart Summon. So that is pretty smart. I mean, I was thinking that the car was just gonna draw a straight line right to the door but this is telling me that it's gonna go all the way around the roundabout once I hold the target. I did have a little mess up there. I think my finger slipped off the button. Now we're in drive, we're gonna go around the roundabout and it's going the right direction, which to me is incredible. But now let's see how it goes around this roundabout. So it is a little hesitant, I would say, going from five miles an hour, but it's quite jerky, it's not smooth. Now down to three, two, one miles per hour. So you can see it slowed down for something on that curve. Now we're at zero. So it comes to a complete stop. You can see on my rear view camera, there is a van behind me, probably wondering what the heck this person is doing. Now we're at four miles an hour, still again, a little bit jerky, but able to make it fully around the circle to the target point in front of the door. Really, really impressive there. I cannot tell you how impressive that is, not only because it didn't just draw a straight line to the target point, but it was able to go around the whole circle the correct direction. So now from the same exact spot, we're gonna put a target point out in the parking lot and it's going to finish the complete circle and head to the other target point. Again, a little bit jerkier, definitely not smooth. This is so new. And if you guys have been a long time Tesla driver, like before the Model 3 with Autopilot version one and the beginning of Autopilot two, you know how jerky Autopilot used to be. And now it is buttery smooth. The same thing is gonna happen with Smart Summon. You can see here how it's working itself pretty smoothly around this curb. But soon after a couple software updates, let's say six months from now, it is going to be so smooth. The only thing we're missing now is the stitching of the fabric together between the Smart Summon and the Auto Park feature. So now I'm gonna put a target point back into the roundabout and see if the car knows where to go. So the car would have to do kind of a, a 180 turn, completely turning around. So I'm interested to see if it uses one of these parking spots to turn around. So right now it's showing me that it is going to kind of go in a reverse direction, although it will not go in reverse. So now it looks like it might use this parking spot here. Nope, it looks like it kind of faked out on that. Okay, now it's gonna maybe use, there's three spots right up here. So it's starting to turn in, but then it turns back out. So it's interesting because the path of travel is still, if you look at the app view, behind the vehicle, going through it that way. Oh, but now look at the blue line. The path of travel just changed, so it realized, hey, I have a better way to get to this target point. So it's using its knowledge of the entire parking lot as it works its way through, kind of like a drunken toddler driving through the parking lot around this curb and it's able to figure out a better way rather than go through the roundabout, it's able to go around this curb and then reach the target point because it wasn't able to find a uh, way to turn around. I've, 
it's interesting because I've never seen Smart Summon do like a three point turn. So I'm not sure if it can. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever used Smart Summon and you've seen it do a three point turn. So it was able to overcome that challenge and it would not go in reverse, but it did end up getting to the target point. Great job, Smart Summon. Now we are back in front of the building at the, like where you would get dropped off and where you're gonna send our target point all the way out to the edge of that blue rim. You can see that they're currently limiting the distance that you can do the Smart Summon. So we're gonna see what it looks like to go around the circle again. And you can see that it's going about four miles an hour, still a jerky. So this is my second time going around this roundabout with 20.4.1 and it is relatively smooth. I'm, I'm just impressed that it knows directionally which way it needs to go. And we're gonna head straight down and we're getting ready to pass this white car and they're probably like, who the heck is driving this Tesla right now? Getting a little close to that car but it is able to maintain that right hand side position and pass the car. Really impressive and I really truly believe in about six months that this Smart Summon feature is going to be so, so buttery smooth. But it's still missing, in my opinion, one huge feature that I'm gonna try and see or squash the rumors that it is included with 20.4.1 and that is the auto park feature. So we're in park right here. You can see I'm gonna move the target point and I'm counting parking spots now. Those two cars on the right hand side have a one spot in between them. So the car should auto park. Well, if you know about auto park, it will only auto park in between two cars. So, or if your car is next to a curb and there is a spot, so in between a car and a curb. I did stop the test there because my target point was way off and now I adjusted the target point so it's now in between those two cars to see if the Smart Summon will in fact perform an auto park in between this Cadillac and this other gray Model 3. And you can see that the Smart Summon is going zero miles per hour, turning really confused with, okay, how do I get into that spot? And now it is parked, Summon complete, close enough. So I'm gonna go in a drive and I'm gonna creep forward just a bit to initiate the auto park and make the auto park available. You're gonna notice that there's a blue P that's gonna appear on the screen when the auto park is available. And now this is something that's the smart summon feature is gonna to have to do. It's gonna to have to know where it can park, where it should park, and how to park. So just like the auto park feature that we're gonna see here, once I hit this blue button on the touch screen, the car is gonna take over and then perform the auto park. Now I'm not sure why they haven't stitched this together yet, although I do find that I never use the auto park feature because I can usually park faster and a little bit better than the auto park feature. So I do hope that when they stitch the smart summon feature with the auto park feature, that it does see some improvement like we have seen with the smart summon feature and how that has vastly been improved recently. Now it does perform a really nice auto park here. Although again, as a regular human driver, I can park much faster and that's usually why I don't do the auto park feature. Now there's one more thing I wanna share with you guys before we go. While I was out driving, testing the new 20.4.1, I did a scroll wheel reset, meaning I held both of the scroll wheels until the touchscreen reset while I was in autopilot. And it was cool because I noticed that autopilot stayed on. So the touchscreen itself turned black, but the car was still driving itself, which I thought was pretty cool. Now I did a scroll wheel reset because I was having with the audio playing on the streaming music, but after the scroll wheel reset, it did fix that issue. So I'm turning on the light so you can see that like, yes, my hands are on the wheel, but I'm not driving. We just got the Tesla T back on the steering wheel. And again, this is after a scroll wheel reset. So if you have an issue with your touchscreen, that's a good thing to do to simply reset the touchscreen, kind of like turning your phone off and on. And here you go, screen comes back on, no camera tricks here, but we have two blue lines and a blue steering wheel indicating that we, yes, are still in autopilot. So pretty cool if you're on a longer road trip and you don't wanna break autopilot, you can still do a scroll wheel reset if you're having an issue. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend. 
and don't forget to hit that push, subscribe push, 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 button. Push I will see you guys in the next one.